When you have a mold make material that can be reused as many times as you would like, you can make molds anytime. Here's a super quick mold of a figurine to show how simple this process is. After you melt your composite mold in the microwave, pour it over your object and let it cool, and you have your mold. Sometimes it's beneficial to spray the initial part with Bubble Buster to reduce the surface tension and stop the bubbles from adhering to the surface of the mold. If your part is going to float, glue it down to the surface, and you can also use the same process for making two-part molds or even brush-on molds. The composite mold works great with epoxy resins, low melt soaps, waxes, silicones, and lots of other casting materials as well. It's even food contact safe until you put something that's not food contact safe into the composite mold. Like if you put a resin in it, don't use chocolate after it. We recommend using the composite mold plaster additive when making plaster or plaster plaster Paris castings, and for polyurethane castings, use a talcum powder as a mold release, which also acts as a moisture barrier. Don't throw away any extra pieces of composite mold that can be remelted and reused anytime. After the composite mold cools, it can be peeled away and just remelted and reused. A question we are asked often is how many times can you reuse the composite mold? You can remelt the composite mold indefinitely. So far, we've made hundreds of molds in the same mold and each mold can be reused to make multiple copies. The number of copies you can get from a mold depends on the size, the temperatures of the casting materials, and the complexity. So you can get from several copies to 50 or so copies for simpler shapes and softer casting materials. For this example, we are using a two-part clear epoxy resin. Mix the resin together and pour it into your mold. You may prefer to use a mold release in some instances, so for the epoxy resin, use a touch of vegetable oil or mineral oil as that mold release. Let this cure. This particular resin took approximately uh, 10 to 15 hours to cure, and we now pull it out of the mold. The composite mold is very flexible, so you can pull it around the object without making any damage. And there is our duplicated figurine. You could do another casting with this, or you can remelt the composite mold to make another shape. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, please let us know. You can get hold of us at info at composimold.com. And you can go to our website, composimold.com, for lots of ebooks that you can download and instructions and videos on how to use Composimold. Thanks so much.